And we're live. Woo! I think. <laughs> we oh, hope we're alive. We were having some problems, so. But everything looks good here. Sean, it's looking good on your end. Mm-hmm. Says we've got some people watching. Oh. So, maybe, maybe not. Peoples. See if anyone chimes in on the chat here. I know it's a boring intro. I wanted to make sure that we're actually like getting through. All right, looks good. So, welcome to Legends of Grayskull YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Matthew. No, you know what? Let's do the whole intro. Here we go. <laughs> the live Wait. version, the treat for Hang everybody. On. Here we go. Ah. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Legends of Grayskull, the fan podcast where we discuss the history, the mystery, the magic, and mythology of He-Man, She-Ra, Eternia, Etheria, Primus, Nordor, uh, Golden Books, Labor Books, UK Annuals, everything and anything you can think of with the Masters of the Universe, Princess Power logo, and we might even do something special with some cells. I'm Matthew Dooch. Here's Sean Skavarna. Sean, how are we doing? We're doing all right. Technical all right. difficulties aside, let's do this. I'm we excited. So, we got some cells. Let's do this. I think so. Like I said, we were <laughs> sorry about that wonky beginning, guys, but we were we, we went live a couple times and we we're having some issues. I'm tweaking the settings. This is our first time doing anything like this. Everything before this has been pre-recorded. So um yep, yeah. let's see if anyone's in the chat here. Where is my chat? I can hear myself again. It is quite disturbing. Yeah, there's a, well, there's a 30-second <laughs> delay, so I've got the phone up to make sure uh, it's going all right. And then uh, I was thinking I could see the live chat here, but I don't know why I can't. Turn it? Where's your live chat? I can see it on the... Sorry for all this, guys. This is the first time. It says we got three guys. Hey, if you guys are here to say something in the chat room here... Um, don't be afraid to say hello. Don't be. We want to make sure we're coming through all right, so... Um, yeah, I know. We're, we're, we're going to be a little wonky here because this is our first time doing this. But yes, so what we got here is uh, Animation Legends is a company. They're selling a bunch of cells right now. They've got He-Man, they've got Street Fighter, uh, what, Mortal Kombat, uh, Shazam, Flash Gordon, uh, quite a, quite a few different things. So and what? But what they offer up is they offer the cells, which were used in the production of the the shows, He-Man and everything else. They're offering them up, but they're offering them up only as blind purchases. You can order like a three pack, a five pack, or a ten pack. So I went ahead and ordered the ten pack uh, with the add on there for an extra ten bucks. I could add on, uh, I think, three sketches. So they do the cells are what they actually filmed, and that gave the animation. And then the sketches they drew to like show. The guys, what it was supposed to look like on screen when all the, the cells were there. So, we, so I bought, like I said, I bought a 10 pack there. And sorry, I got distracted. Ah. Oh, because I had to shut it off. Ah. Okay. Uh, so, I bought the 10 pack. <laughs> I have not opened it yet. This is still, still sealed. And so we're going to open it up live here. Oh, Chris and I is here. What's happening, Chris? How we doing? Did I go? Nope, I'm back. It's a little fuzzy, but I think it'll do. Ah. Looks good on my end. It's honestly probably my switching back and forth here trying to check things that's slowing it down. 
know why I can't get if I open it in YouTube. I, I'm trying to get the chat on my phone here so that I don't have to switch back and forth on the computer, which is seeming to be there. We go. I got it. I figured it out. I'm a technical genius. Yay! So yeah, Chris and uh, Chris and I is here. Uh, Chris has actually been to the warehouse where they used to store the all these cells. And I did purchase some from him as well, and those will hopefully be on their way here. But the, these I figured for the price, it gets down to like four fifty a cell when you buy the bundle. The like I said, the drawings were an extra ten dollars, but if I didn't get the drawings, I would have had to pay for shipping, and that was five dollars anyways for standard. So to me, I'm like, well, an extra five bucks and I get three sketches. I hate paying mm-hmm. for shipping. So I, I figured I'd put an order in. Now, what we believe is, is that Animation Legends, someone had just recently bought all the remaining stock out of the warehouse. So we're thinking that that's Animation Legends, even though we have, I mean, it only makes sense since they started selling off all these went right after the warehouse went for sale. So, Chris, thanks for joining us. You know, we should have you on the show one of these days to talk about uh, your time in the Fomation warehouse and everything. And the thing is, we've been talking back and forth, me and Chris, we, and he, I'm, like, showing him pictures of cells, and he can, like, he's telling me right where they came from and what they're missing and everything. So he he, he is a cell expert right up there with uh, James E. Talk and a few other guys. So um, That'll be the episode I just sit back and let you two go to town, and I'll just be like, <laughs> See, I'm that's learning. That's the episode I'll sit back and just let him go to town. He must have some stories <laughs> digging through all those archives and folders and everything else. So. Uh, so let's just get to it. I just ripped it open now, so we're going to pull it out. We got, looks like the drawings up first here, and I think I see an Orco. First oh. Place. Let's see what I can, so it just shipped, it's like I said, it's a hard envelope, and then we got the little, I'm trying not to turn it, because I can't see much from this side, we got a little envelope here. This is all I've seen, I'm not looking at the back side, so I'm not looking at anything else yet. Uh, we're up to five here, one of them's probably me, but you know. <laughs> what's up guys so here we go looks like we got the drawings up top first and yes that's got to be an or yep there's an o there so i can see an orco these are a lot bigger these are these are chris and ida says haha no way i'm in their league oh <laughs> but, but you still know a whole lot this is a, a pretty simple drawing to start with it's orco and he's he's flying into screen there and you see the little line Going up. Uh, okay. You know what I'm going to do, Sean? Hang on one second. I'm going to switch. Oh. I've got a special screen here where I'm a little bigger than you. That oh, help. that works. That might help viewers see a little bit. Sure. Um, so, yeah, it's got some numbers down at the bottom here. 33156, and then there's 002 over there. So this is probably the second in the sequence, I'm assuming. Chris, if you know better, I probably should have tapped him to come on here. But, yeah, so it's a simple drawing. It's Orco, and it looks like... Uh, if you can see, there's a blue line there, mm-hmm. um, kind of showing that's probably the motion he's taking. I assume he's flying up in the screen. Yeah. So that's I mean, you know what these are bigger. Like you always see the cells and everything online, and these these are a little bigger than what I was expecting. Let me put up. I mean, here's my here's my character compendium and world guide. So they're they're a little taller. I mean, mm-hmm. they're, they're pretty good. Watch me rip this, like, right on. <laughs> It'd be awesome to yeah, find out no. who did this, like, if there was a way to find out the actual person. Ooh, this one's neat. Sorry, I got distracted here. I'm guessing there's a man arms coming up. I see lots of green coming up. Oh. Oh, wow, this one's taped on there, but look at this. Tila. Oh, that is Which nice. Which actually looks like it's probably... A Xerox, like the Tila looks like a Xerox, and then the hands are hand drawn. Like, I don't know if I can get this mm-hmm. well enough to show it, but like, she's yeah. she's taped onto there, or she's taped onto on the back. You can see tape lines. Mm-hmm. Where it look, oh, it looks like they actually cut the paper. They like cut a hole in the paper, taped the Tila in, and then mm-hmm. drew the hands on. So it looks like this was a stock Tila, but they needed something new with our hands, I'm guessing. And that is MU32 again. So I... Oh, no, that was 33 on the other one. So, yeah. Either way, that's a... That's, that's, a, still, that's a neat little... And it was yeah. hand-drawn at some point, but that is actually mm-hmm. a Xerox there. Ooh. Uh-oh. 
I can only see, and the thing is, the way I'm holding it, I can only see the back, so I can't quite see it. But this, this is pretty cool. Uh, okay, Chris says, uh, second in the sequence, 02, show the numbers on the bottom, too. So. <gasps> Sean, you're going to freak out. Not on this, <laughs> but I moved this, and I could see the back of the cells. Uh-huh. And you're, you're going to freak out. I can't believe I got Okay. And All right. That. I'm I'm and bracing that. myself. Holy shit, I got that too. You're killing me. Come on. Well, and I can't really <laughs> see them either because it's just the back, <laughs> which doesn't have all the fine details. Mm-hmm. But I'm already giving a thumbs up just from what okay. I see here. Hopefully they're not. I'm cool with well, it. and that's the other thing. And Animation Legends was upfront about this, is that there is some paint loss on these. Like they're not in the perfect condition, but for the price. Eh. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's my last one, and this is all hand drawn, and this is Adam's, uh, the back of Adam here. Okay. So that's pretty, pretty neat, and that's MU39. Okay, here we go. So 139, that must have been the episode, scene 133, A3. So I'm assuming third in the sequence there. Chris, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. That's a pretty neat little, I mean, it's just the back of him, but it's still nice little mm -hmm. drawing. Like I said, it'd be cool if we could somehow figure out who drew those, and <laughs> Wanna... and uh, and like get find a way to get them to sign them or something like that. Be cool. I want to Photoshop a fishing pole in that one, right? Because everybody goes to fishing. Yeah. When it comes to Adam. Okay, okay yeah, here's I the. I don't see any paint loss on this, but it's not the greatest. And this is a stock because it says S S T K on the bottom. I gotta assume that means stock. But it's a character we don't see a lot. You want, you want to do a little guessing game? Okay, it's a character we don't see a lot. And these are all He-Man. It's a character we don't see a lot, but he's a fan favorite. How about that? What do you got? But he's a fan favorite. Or she. Or she. That we yeah, don't it, see a lot. It's, like it's what? He. They're in one episode? He doesn't Is have, what you're saying? Right, not a lot of appearances. Well, a fan, well no. Main, a, a main evil warrior, though. Like he's, A main he's, evil warrior. But you don't see him a lot. And Chris says I'm correct on one of them. <laughs> um, Fang Man. Close. He was in an episode with him. Triclops. I mean, you're, miss <laughs> you're missing the eye, and it's like him well. exiting screen, but... <laughs> I mean, it's still a pretty, pretty neat one. Yeah. And there's not really a whole lot of uh, paint loss or anything. You see a little rub. I don't even know if you can see it. There's a little rub, like, right here. But I can't that, tell, not... but... So that it's like I, I'd actually have a sign next to it: exit stage right <laughs> or stage left or whatever. I'm actually gonna save this one. I like that. I'm gonna save this one for a little bit. Uh oh. Big uh -oh. reveal. Okay, so let's see here. So this one, they are jumping onto screen. Actually, looks pretty sweet. This one, this one's got a lot of airtime. Heroic Warrior. Jumping on the screen, Heroic Warrior? Yep. Lots of airtime. Ram Man. Battle Cat. Nice. Okay. I was thinking of the bouncing with him, yeah. uh, with Ram Man, but this, no, that's great. This is another stock sequence. So actually, this looks like... Um, Actually, from uh, Curse of the Spellstone, where, and even, <laughs> you know what I mean? Where he's, like, standing up on the rocks. And I think it was in the yep. search, too, wasn't he? And he, like, yeah. jumps off. Like, that looks yep. like that sequence, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So that's pretty... now. Now you're going to watch those tonight, and you're going to see if you get that little piece of it now. Right? That's a pretty That's, a, pretty that's nice a great sequence. battle cat. That, that's that? definitely a, a good one to treasure, I think. And I, I got a good battle cat coming from uh, Chris, too. Ooh, these are a little stuck together. All right, all right. Another stock. Man, I'm getting all stock ones here. Uh, okay, so she's got... Well, this will be pretty easy toss-up. She's got a lot of screen time. So go ahead. It's like a... Well, A 33% chance here. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. I'll go with Sorceress just because I, I think Teal is too obvious, but let's see if I win here. Well, not that obvious. Oh, oh I should have gone Tila. It is a Tila. She's, she's and it's walking. full body too. Well, well I'm great. missing the tiara there a little bit. 
Uh, so obviously little, that would but... be up above screen, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. another stock one, but you can tell that's that's where she's always walking down from up off screen and walking across the palace yeah. background or whatever. Um, yeah, that's that's another nice one there. There's no, Definitely. Not a whole lot of paint loss. Nothing really full body or like like up close in the frame here, like what I got coming from Chris. But um, this one's actually got no writing on it. Uh, yeah, a little paint splotch here. That's disappointing because this one would have been really cool otherwise. Um, yeah, she. Here we go. Here we go again. She's got quite a bit of screen time. <laughs> evil land let's do evil land <laughs> and then it's sorceress but, uh, but it's, it's it's a little bit of a trick so oh got, and that would have been a really nice zor except yeah. there is a you, well there you go you can see the the loss there and then this there yeah. splotchy right there which yeah. is disappointing but it still doesn't look half bad no um but the weird thing is it's got no numbers on it so i wonder if this was ever even used i wonder what that means chris if you're still hanging out there uh know anything about it if it's got no numbers on the bottom okay yeah we're definitely getting in oh yeah we're getting into the paint loss ones now that's a shame too you can tell this one was probably stuck to another one uh he's one of your favorite characters are you joking or are you serious? I don't know. Am I? What? Which, which is it? <laughs> well, my favorite character is He-Man, Manny Faces, or Fisto uh -huh. that I could think of off the top of my head. And Although this, I like them all in one way or another. And this one. Oh, Orko. <laughs> That's cute. It is I'm a cute one. I'm not gonna lie. It's got, it is cute. It's got, like I said, you can see the you can see the holes in it. You can see. Yeah. The thing. Looks like another cell was probably turned the wrong way and stuck to it. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a neat little one. That that one's one that I'd actually be tempted to scan and do a Photoshop recoloring of it, just so that it's a whole, you know. Yeah. And then you have it like a here's here's how it would have been, but you still have the cell at least. Actually, you can't really see it, but there's an imprint right here of another Orco. Like you can see where it was stuck there, so it's another uh, Orco cell that they peeled off. Mm -hmm. um, and this was from a specific episode, three thirty four. So. Now, here is one of your favorite. Oh, and he looks awesome. Good guy or bad guy? Good guy. <clears throat> Good guy. Many faces. Ram man. Ram cool. man. Uh, <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good shot. There's, not, there's a little bit of smudges, but there's no real paint loss. Yeah, so. that is nice. That is, that is a nice looking one, and this is from uh, MU40. I wonder if See, it's. I wonder if it's just a straight. I think we might have lost Chris, or he's just not commenting. I wonder if it's just a straight swap. Like forty is the fortieth episode, or if they actually like fifty-eight, forty-four, thirty-eight. Let me see what forty was. See if it had Rayman in it. 39. Ah, you know what? According to this, you know what 40 was? Mm. House of oh, Shikoki really? Part 1. So if that if that does translate like you, that, then that, you just, then yeah. that one was actually used in House of Shikoti. That... It, just to have a part of that episode would be more than enough for me at that point. Man, if that's the case, that's yeah. that's like a grail I'm, then. That's awesome. I'm assuming, like <laughs> I said, that looks – there's a little smudge here and there, a little bit of the black's missing, but, I mean, he's going to display nicely. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Chris said with that Zor, it was probably a uh, panoramic cell that was cut. He said that was common that they cut them years ago. Um, because it would have been further to the right. So uh, if, it, okay. if it was one where it was like a panning shot, for mm -hmm. a panning shot, it would have been longer, and the episode would have been over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's where it's been cut off. All right, then we've got... See, now i got to get some backgrounds. Chris, if you're selling any backgrounds, let me know. 
<laughs> Yet another rabbit hole. Oh, Classics wow. and animation cells. <laughs> this one here. It's there is some paint loss, but it looks cool. And some what's here I'm almost thinking is meant to be here. Um so a female and and uh she appeared quite a bit. Teola. Since I, I feel like every time I say it, man, I am wrong every damn time. <laughs> and like there's these swipes here, but I want to say that that's probably supposed I think that's to motion. be there. It's the motion, I'm guessing. Yeah. But there is a bit of loss there. The black lines are a little smudged. But other than that, like she looks like put a background on that. That's going to look awesome. Like, mm -hmm. That's that's cool. And that's MU22. I don't have enough space here. I hope everyone's entertained by this. I'm entertained by this. <laughs> I gotta assume that's just a straight swap there, because what are the odds that I hit on a Ram Man episode by by using the numbers up here, you know? Uh, 22 would have been uh, Song of Solis. So that could have been the Zor sequence when, because didn't Skeletor... Uh, or Celeste start to put the sorceress to sleep while she was still flying as Zor? If I remember right, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that episode I think she in a did. while. But it's so it's been a while been for where, me. Where she was like flapping before she flew back into the window of Grayskull and passed out for Lizardman to find her, you know? Mm-hmm. Definitely could have been. Oh, man. I don't have a big enough table for all this. All right. Looks like we got two left in here. Oh, on the back. He's laying on his back, Sean. He's laying on his back. <laughs> Nothing? No guess? He-Man. Let's say He-Man. Why not? <laughs> oh, yeah, Cringer. Lots of beasties here, and there are, yeah. there are a few... Can, can you see the light shining through? Yeah. There are yeah, a few yeah. holes there in his head. Otherwise, it would have been a perfect sell. I mean, all the black <laughs> lines... I mean, seriously, all the black lines are still there and everything. Mm-hmm. Tails intact. And that's from MU-16. 16. So I don't have to flip far. These are all early episodes. Mm -hmm. This is fun. I might have to order another set. We might have to do this again. This is just fun. Uh oh. This, it's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, no, my 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 I think I think my thing's wrong. Cause that's a sixteen, and according to here for sixteen is Reign of the Monster, and that does not have cringer in it. So hmm. Because Reign, Reign of the Monster is the one episode that doesn't have a transformation sequence in it. It's the only one that, That's just wrong. that doesn't have Prince Adam in it, so it wouldn't have Cringer either. Hmm. Okay, he says that the episode numbers refer to production order, not necessarily the order of broadcast, depending on how that book is listing them. But that's what I thought... I think these numbers up here are the same. Let me check, because I know Diamond Ray was not the first episode in production, but it was the first episode aired. Yeah. So I think the episode numbers I'm looking at... Yeah, like Cosmic Comet, this number is 01, even mm -hmm. though Diamond Ray was the first episode aired. So that would mean that this is for 16. Huh. That's weird. So I was reading it right, but that's weird because Cringer's not in that episode. Unless it was a scene cut for time. All right, not bad, not bad. Another stock one. It's it's a little, the cell's a little beat up. There's a tear in it and stuff. But, um, he, uh, okay, so he, get, he gets a lot of air time here. Hmm. All right, Battle Cat. Let's do a beastie since I've gotten all of them. He now, see, if I would have <laughs> just, yeah. 
I, I feel like the dude at the beginning of Ghostbusters that's getting the electric shocks by not knowing what shapes are on the cards. Right. <laughs> So that's you, a good. That's really cool, though. Yeah, actually, it's in good shape here. The cell itself is beat up. Like, there's a tear right there. There's a crease down at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a little one of those little things to uh, like the a little the because these all have like slots in here. They probably went into a folder. You know, they yeah. got like the look for the little pins, and that must have ripped. So they stuck one of those on there. Yeah, like Chris says here, the so- song of Solis is. Production episode 22, but it's like episode 7 in terms of broadcast. And yeah, that's what I was looking at, Chris, in the Filmation Guide. They have all the production numbers at top. Um, like, the Cosmic Comet is still 01. So, I'm going to I'm gonna have to dig into that 16 a little better. That's that's weird. Well, so 16, and then it says a 97. It's in a little different format. So, maybe it's for episode 97, actually. Maybe they, because the other ones say like MU-22. It's just a, a little bit of a different format. That's weird. But yeah, this is an, this is a stock one of He-Man. It's in, you know, it's that traditional running down. Like I said, mm-hmm. the cell itself is beat up, but the He-Man himself, actually, he looks pretty good, except for, obviously his head's cut off. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. The slots are where they, they held them into the camera. They held the the... They would hold the cells in the camera, so that, I guess so it didn't come off the background. Mm-hmm. So, thank you, Chris. I'm glad you. I'm glad you tuned in. And then I got the certificate of authenticity, which is just garbage. Now, yeah, he, Chris says that that should read episode 16, scene 97 on the Cringer. So that's weird because that definitely doesn't have Cringer in it. Certificate of authenticity. I don't know. Does that mean anything, really? I mean, we know they're authentic. <laughs> Seriously, I, I, could, I could print that out. Uh, well, unless they're in their basement retracing cells and right. going nuts, you know, who knows? And messing up the paint. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. It's like, some might have a little bit oh, of a problem. I forgot I set one aside for you. For me? Well, not, oh, yeah, not that's for right. you. No, but it's for me to guess. With me. For me to nice guess. Nice try. <laughs> for you to guess yes i'm going with shakoti just because i like shakoti <laughs> fine i won't even give you a hint <laughs> i've been wrong on every one of them and, i'm fine throwing myself down on the landmine and these point. guys are awesome oh well, they, they're close to Shakoti. They the are. Dark Wings. Look, Look at that. Look at those nice. Let me see if I can get this right. Look at that nice Look at close that. up there. They got wow. Two of them facing that way, and then the big one like facing behind. Isn't that awesome? And mm-hmm. these guys look fabulous. This cell is awesome. Nice. Now, let me see if I can. So now here's. It's not perfect, but let me play around a little bit. So yeah, so this is how they would create, they take those stock Mm -hmm. scenes and then another one and just put them on top of each other with a background on on the back there. Look at that. They're about to attack. He-Man's running towards them to engage. Mm Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, this will be fun. I think this will, oh yeah, that'll line up pretty cool. Ah, get away from me, creeps. (laughs) I like it. Look at that. See now, all I gotta do, I gotta get some backgrounds here. Someone's got Someone's gotta sell off some backgrounds, and I can put a couple of these on the background. And mm-hmm. you can, yeah, you're set then. You can do. Uh, you know what? I I gotta say that that's a pretty good haul for four four fifty a sell. I, I I'm happy with it. Like I know I know they're beat up. They're the rejects. They're the, they're the leftovers. But I mean that's that's <laughs> that's pretty good. That's yeah. Those darklings were actually like the first one. That's what I saw when I when I took off the <laughs> last drawing. I saw the backs of them, and I'm like, oh my god, that right there is like nice, so worth it. So yeah, forty one. Yep, what they're in that? the house of Shakoti there. And Rayman was forty, right? Yeah. So the yep. Rayman's from part one, and the darklings are from part two. Yep. That's well, exactly. out of anybody that I could think of. It makes sense that you should have some of those, considering our first team up was that episode. It was. So there you go. 
it yeah. was it was the first uh yeah me when me and sean were just doing stuff on facebook here and there we teamed up it was right after mm-hmm. the passing of larry detaglio and we're like well what should we talk about and we're like well let's do uh house of shikoti yeah and we talked for like two hours on it and nobody <laughs> ever watched it <laughs> <laughs> that's how it was with all my 2000x reviews but you know yeah. what sometimes you just got a geek that's yeah. all there is to it well, i used to watch so that's the other thing i would tune in on those <laughs> that's kind of a little history of, of how we – let me go ahead and switch us back now since I'm through all those cells. Um, but, yeah, that's a little bit of how we kind of started. We started doing some stuff together, and then we uh, – like I said, we teamed up a couple of times, and I would always come in, and he'd be talking about 2000X, and I'd be like, well, what about this? And this happened, yeah. and this happened, and he'd be like, well, that guy shut up. Like <laughs> You're like, eat your vegetables, and I'm like, no, 2000X, it's love. And then, no, yeah. I'm learning now. There's yeah. more. <laughs> Chris says he's got to run, but he's looking forward to our next video. Thanks for tuning in, Chris. We appreciate it. Um, Thank you. We'll have to have you on someday. Sure. But yeah, we uh, so we started there. We started teaming up. We talk, you know, messenger and everything else. And then finally, one day we're yep. like, I think Sean actually was the first. He's like, why don't we do a podcast? And <laughs> Probably, probably half a year later, six months at least, right? We we finally cranked out our first episode. <laughs> I don't think it was even six months. I think yeah, it like was. It, it was a while because I know. It, yeah, I, I feel like we did our team up on Facebook like last year. Yeah. Or even the year before that. That that's probably yeah. what the lag was that I'm thinking of. So. Yeah. Then we did a second team up on uh, what did we do? There was something we did. We did a second team up on Facebook, and then we were, and then after that, we're like, well, let's do it. And then like the holidays, mm-hmm. I remember before the holidays, because then like thank, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas hit, and we got like nothing accomplished moving forward. Yeah. And then we lost a couple episodes, and now we're here. So yeah. Um. Yeah. We learn as we go. We learn as we go. <laughs> so yeah, that so. was that was really cool. I honestly might, uh, I might. I might, go, I might go for, I don't know, do, I don't know if I should go for another pack and risk my luck, because I know some people just got some garbage out of it, but that, that was a pretty solid 10-pack, I'm not going to lie. That was... I'd say <laughs> give it another shot, but yeah. I, I'd say that, it, like, for me personally, if uh, like, getting the, some of the House of Shakoti would have really made my day, even if it wasn't even a Shakoti, if it was, right. you got the Ram Man, you got the Darklings, that would be me just going, like, this is one of my absolute favorite two parts and in general right so just to have a part of that history would be awesome and if you get something else out of it too maybe you'll get like a he-man that's actually just in frame and not like the head cut off or maybe there's a teal with a tr in it then right or who knows Uh, i mean that i'd give it a shot for it i always figured that the animation stuff was going to cost an arm and a leg to get yeah so the fact that they're only selling it for 450 right and you're able to do this and it's it's not going to break your bank that to me is like yeah if, no. if nothing else you would be somebody that would want to take care of this and it's important to you i'd rather it go to somebody that cares yeah it'd be awesome versus to, you know it'd be awesome to get a bunch of these framed up like i said do do you can do some cool little scenes there that never happened yeah. and I like it if you put the Zor with the darkling yeah i really it. like that one it might, it might stay there i got to play around and like it's actually even <laughs> here's another fun one I just oh yeah rub the belly rub my belly <laughs> <laughs> I like it yeah there's there's some fun stuff here you get you get a couple in the right uh in the right pose I mean even this Tila battle cat if I could find you know one of those one of those high ground uh you know backgrounds that would look pretty cool together well heck you could put he-man right in the middle between them don't the oh, he-man yeah, that you got running that He-Man. Look at that. need a bigger table. They, you have your like try you have a, a filmation trifecta then yeah it's a little little close to battle cap but <laughs> hey, hey it's something it's that's not the a, worst <laughs> no it's not the worst <laughs> Just to, battle cat will trip he-man and then you know, <laughs> that's the only problem <laughs> But yeah, no that that would be that would be something that like I I'm I don't think I'll ever start down that path because I'm just too afraid of my OCD yeah. and crazy. 
but in the in the case of like you said, it's a it's affordable and it's definitely something where yeah, it's you're like, gonna enjoy it. It's so. not gonna break the bank. Like I said, they're upfront about it. Now, if they were out there passing it along, you know, like oh, these are these are perfect cells and everything, and I got that. Like I'd be like, yeah. But they cut. They're upfront. They put the ads are on Facebook all the time. They show you know they show messed up cells in their ads. Like they're not hiding it. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that's good. So, so like I said, for the price and everything, you're buying blind. It's worth it to me, um, and I think I got I got a pretty good poll there. <laughs> mm-hmm, definitely. That's not bad. So check them out. That's Animation Legends. I'll drop a link down below there in case anyone wants to check them out. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for, like, perfect cells of certain characters, uh, actually check out uh, James Etock. Uh, I think he's still under Busta Tunes on eBay. Mm-hmm. And every about month or two months, he throws up a bunch from his time digging through the Filmation Warehouse. Um, and these are pretty affordable, too, but they're running, like, the 20 to 30 range, which is about normal for a cell. Um, yeah. That's in good quality, and you know who you're getting. So if that's your thing, head over to one of those guys, a reputable seller who's actually been to the Filmation Warehouse. But if you just like a little blind bag thing with, like I said, it comes to 450 a cell, um, then definitely check these guys out. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, it, to speak about James really quick, I know uh, Jeremy DeWitt from Podcasters of the Universe. One of his favorite characters is Solice, uh-huh. and James actually gifted him some of the Solice artwork from that episode. Nice. So uh, James definitely has some deep cuts oh, that yeah. you could get your hands on if you get in touch with him. So yeah, he feel was, free. He was one of the early ones to jump in there. So yeah, that's that's. Uh, if we could get him on the show sometime too, I'd love to do that. We gotta do that at some point. Get some guest stars <laughs> on here and just yeah, just geek out about their experiences. Hey, so, it's all part of the story. That's so, it. Yeah. This is this is building and building. So I hope all of you that tuned in enjoy this or catch the rerun. I probably won't send this to the audio just because. I mean, it's it's not. This much is a to special say. event. You it needed to watch this event, one so because you you can't really see those cells. No. properly if you do the the audio so let's yeah. just keep it like that yeah so and then we found the settings here where where youtube likes us and my computer likes <laughs> us so um you'll probably see a little more of this from us now that i got the kinks worked out thanks for bearing with us in the beginning there and uh until next time until next time